Hello friends, I have a question for you. Suppose you are attending an interview and the interviewer asks you, you are logged into this system, okay, whatever this system is, and uh, you are not being told it's a virtual machine or it's a physical machine. How do you identify it? There, there are many ways to do it, okay? But one of the best ways, DMI decode. DMI means your, what it is? desktop management interface and then the decode what is there it gets you all the bios information related to your uh, underlying hardware the environment the components or the configurations etc etc we'll explore and uh, what you need you just need to be the root user and just check out what options are there with the help menu without any option if I hit enter here and go up there, I can see many items have been presented. So, getting SM BIOS. SM BIOS is System Management BIOS, Basic Input Output System. Okay, so it is reading from SysFS or System File System. Maybe <laughs> it has handlers. So there is this component BIOS information. Another handler is here, system information, like that, there are other handlers or components. For me, it is not a huge table, end of table, okay? It is not a huge table because this is a virtual machine. But how do I know it? I am clearing the screen in case you are copying anything from here. See, TMIT code and I ask it, I don't know any you know options so i just ask it to give me information related to the product or manufacturer i get that output there so virtual box so virtual box uh, i'm using to create this uh, system which is a virtual machine you may see vmware there i can also mention manufacturer okay i'm not typing everything there so manufacturer who is the manufacturer? Oracle Corporation. Initially, it was this Innotec, GmbH. Uh, they developed uh, Oracle. They, they developed virtual box. But uh, Sun Systems, okay, those who developed Java, uh, this was under them. Then uh, Oracle took over. So now it is called Oracle Virtual Box. Now, again. DMI decode hyphen H. My two favorite options are hyphen T for type and hyphen S for history. So instead of listing out everything, I can limit the output to certain you know, components. So what strings are available there? I can we can refer to the manual page, right? But if I hit hyphen S here and don't type anything, it will tell me that you are missing something, and these are the keywords that you can use. So, for example, system family. This is my favorite thing here. It's telling me it's a virtual machine. That is a question to the answer asked in the interview. <laughs> uh, in the beginning of this. Uh, Lab exercise. It's very easy. Now, another thing is uh, system UID if you need system serial number. This is often asked in interviews that how to get the serial number. Now, type I don't know type so he type in T only then you have these types available so I say type edge system system information this is sufficient for my exercise that I have the product name that is uh, the virtual box thing that it is coming that it's a VM under virtual box environment and this is the UUID of the system and uh, family is this again virtual machine it is pretty much helpful there are 
uh, types uh, they have been numbered as well for example if you say 1 it is system information if you say 16 it is memory related okay see this is not a physical server so deems are not configured okay slots array <laughs> you don't see here baseboard you can type 2 so baseboard information you don't have to memorize those numbers if you want to check those numbers you can see TMI decode here refer to this manual pass and check what other options are available there see those numbers starting from 0 BIOS system etc memory controller cache system reset temperature power supply memory channel etc it's all in front of you here okay keyword and types let's get out of it now let me show you the help menu again this option and this option these are very helpful for example you are making changes to your system maybe you are introducing some memory extra memory physical memory or uh, any hardware related changes are there okay somehow system related changes are there so you can take a dump of the existing BIOS environment or the current state and then when you have made changes to the current state you can again take a dump and compare so what you do here TMI decode and then you specify dump a binary file okay so it will be a binary file dump the DMI data to a binary file DMI means desktop management information here now what is the binary file so I can just say BIOS dot dump you can specify some ticket or reference number also if you are performing some activity or maybe uh, date so date how can I in include that thing here that percentage uh, I think capital F plus okay now what is the name of the file this is the name of the file okay it has the um, current date also we can use time also in that file name so so this becomes helpful we cannot read the data of this file because it's a binary file file the keyword file is a command it can tell you what kind of file it is for example if I ask it to check dot 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 it's a directory so parent directory <laughs> okay TMP now if I say just check this thing there is no such thing <laughs> in the current directory if I say check this it's a directory of course the topmost directory or the great grandfather or mother now it should be very clear to you so explore this command it is very helpful for your interviews purpose also and for your day-to-day um, uh, -day activities also as a system admin specifically or for a support kind of role if you are doing as a Linux user you should have a good understanding of frequently used commands as well as some system uh, related commands and as and when I find time I'm creating these uh, videos sharing with you so thank you for watching and uh, okay 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 before I say Tata I forgot to tell you that we have taken this dump now how we use that term because we cannot read the data right so we can just say dump file huh? dump file is not there 
sorry from dump okay read from the dump and whatever file name uh, typo this time now let me clear scroll back see now you can read the entire table so this way you can compare of course there are other ways also comparing two files which we'll discuss in a later session right it will be better okay then tata 